Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> Thank you very much. The ridiculous and baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. Many people have said that. Democrats have even said it. This vicious persecution is a travesty of justice. If you're watching Joe Biden. Joe, by think of it, Biden is trying to jail his leading political opponent, an opponent that's beating him by a lot in the polls, just like they do in Stalinist Russia or communist China. No different. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing for this country. I mean, the only good thing about it is it's driven my poll numbers way up. Can you believe this? Way up. Federal law enforcement should never have been involved in this matter, but they got involved. And we just can't let that happen. They got involved with Twitter. They got involved with Facebook. And as president, all of my documents fell under what is known as the Presidential Records Act, which is not at all a criminal act. Everything. It's all judged by the Presidential Records Act. In this whole fake indictment, they don't even once mention the Presidential Records Act, which is really the ruling act, which this case falls under 100 percent because they want to use something called the Espionage Act. Doesn't that sound terrible? Oh, espionage. We got a box. I got a box. The Espionage Act of 1917. I think it was put in there about World War I. And by the way, Biden's got 1,850 boxes. He's got boxes in Chinatown, D.C. He's got boxes all over the place. He doesn't know what the hell to do with them. And he's fighting them on the boxes. He doesn't want to give the boxes. And then they say, Trump is obstructioning. He's obstructing. No, it's a sad, uh, sad day for the country, you know, I said. They also don't mention the defining lawsuit that was brought against Bill Clinton, and it was lost by the government, the famous Sox case that says he can keep his documents. They don't mention that. They don't, these are minor details, and that's the ruling law. When I left office and was moving to Florida, boxes were openly sitting on the White House sidewalk. Everybody was taking pictures of them. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. Pictures of them, you've all seen it, sitting with people from GSA and other people, waiting to put them on a truck, but they were literally sitting outside of the White House waiting for a truck to come. Then the truck come. It was there for a long time, and they put it in, and they brought it down to Florida, and they make it sound like it's a big — if that's a spy operation or if that's something bad, uh, we did a very poor job, I will tell you. First thing you learn is don't put them on the sidewalk in front of the White House. As a former president, we were negotiating with the National Archives and Records Administration, just as every other president has done. And the next thing I knew, Mar-a-Lago was raided by gun-toting FBI agents. We were negotiating. And again, meanwhile, Biden has troves of classified documents from his time as vice president, which is much tougher, actually. It's actually a much tougher standard. And even as a senator, and the senators are not allowed to bring classified documents. And I heard a senator named Dick Durbin. You ever hear of him? Happens to be a Democrat. He was beside himself. He couldn't believe that Biden took classified documents as a senator. It's a no-no, a real no-no. Can't do it. Many of Biden's documents were in Chinatown, and many of them were in places that you don't want to have documents. But I hear how wonderful he did. Think of it. 1,850 boxes he had, minus peanuts. But you saw mine because they were on that sidewalk. They paid over a million dollars a year. And they're still, you know, he was paid by China, really, because China makes a big payment to the area where he has the vast preponderance of documents. And he makes about a million dollars a year paid by China. And these documents were strewn all over the place. And then he has documents strewn on his garage floor, where he has the now famous Corvette. You know where that stored his beautiful Corvette. There was no security there. They had a garage door that you could cut it with a scissor. They didn't have Secret Service. I have Secret Service all over Mar-a-Lago. And mar a is strong and powerful. But that was actually built as the Southern White House. That's so very powerful. But we have great people. Secret Service is all over the place, and that's the way we like it. But unlike me, who had absolute declassification authority as president, Biden didn't have any authority, and he had no right to possess those documents, none whatsoever. Yet nothing happened to Crooked Joe with all that many, many, many times what we have. And you know, uh, there was an article recently that all presidents take documents out. They bring them out, all of them, virtually every one of them in fairly modern time. If you look at Hillary Clinton, set up an illegal private server in her basement specifically to break public disclosure laws, and that would expose her and her family's finances. She stored vast quantities of classified and sensitive information. Much of it went into Anthony Weiner's computer. And when caught, Hillary deleted and acid washed 33,000 emails in defiance of a congressional subpoena. She already had the subpoena. And her aides smashed and destroyed iPhones with a hammer. Yet the FBI and DOJ protected her. They did absolutely nothing in Hillary's case. The FBI and DOJ largely did not issue subpoenas. They did not use a grand jury. They did not execute search warrants. And 
Comey declared that there was no problem. He said no reasonable prosecutor would ever bring a case like that. She knocked out 33,000 emails. And Hillary wasn't indicted. She was protected by the Democrats. Biden was not indicted, and what he's done is terrible. Only Donald Trump is indicted, and they take one charge, and they turn it into 36 charges. This is a political hit job. Republicans are treated far differently at the Justice Department than Democrats. They looked at Mike Pence. He had classified documents. No problem. They looked at Biden, he has so many classified documents, they don't know what to do, and he's trying to prevent them from seeing it. That's obstruction. But we didn't do any obstruction. This is a sick nest of people that needs to be cleaned out immediately. Get them out. We now have two standards of justice in our country. The Democrat communists want to jail their opponents while they protect the murderers who prowl our cities day and night and other brazen criminals. And no criminal is more protected than crooked Joe Biden. It's no coincidence they indicted me the very same day that it was revealed that the FBI hid explosive evidence that Joe Biden took a $5 million illegal bribe from Ukraine. Right as they're closing on Hunter and Joe Biden, they're closing in right now. They say, let's do this. Let's go after Trump. That'll take a lot of the publicity away. We're too hot. Next, Hunter will probably be charged with some very minor offense so that the FBI and DOJ can pretend that they're fair. They want to pretend they're fair. We got Hunter for jaywalking while they ignore the bribery, money laundering, and other massive crimes implicating crooked Joe Biden. So much. Glory of Rome.